YouTube, another Casey Cup uh, well-performing deck. It's not a well-performing deck if the only deck, <laughs> if, if uh, like only two decks topped top 100. I mean, I guess it's not bad, but it's not something special, you know. But the good thing is it got fifth place, which is not a, just a good thing, it's an amazing thing. So, you know, why not revisit them? And uh, yeah, here is the list that, that got fifth place. Um, as you can see, pretty standard flight control version, nothing too special. To be honest, I'm, I'm very surprised it got fifth, the fifth place, as, uh, I don't know, I felt like this wasn't really the deck um, for the KC Cup, but I guess, uh, <laughs> you know, I guess someone actually did, so yeah. So this is the deck that I went for. Um, as you can see, it's a bit diff it's a bit different. Um, now the thing that stands that stands out is I only have two screw serpents. I would play three if I had three instead of one tanky. But yeah, um, as you can see, I do I did decide to switch for the lands because potentially better on the ladder uh, than cosmic. Um, besides that, it's pretty standard triple uh, striker, triple triple warwolf, triple dragon. Um, I did decide to go with two booster raptor, one drillfish. Um, I tried out <coughs> playing the Keck Falcon and uh, Gear Zombie, um, but yeah, I didn't really like them, so I decided to play it simple, much you know, very simple like this. So yeah, Monster Reborn is pretty standard, pretty nice because it's an amazing follow-up, it's an amazing card to sack, so yeah, why not just play it, you know? So yeah, why not just play it, you know? And like I said, Lance is, I think, pretty nice, um, so yeah. Double tanky to search your Warwolf um, to boost your consistency, so yeah, that's basically the main deck. I did, I did decide to switch the burb for another uh, star guardian uh, why i felt like having more star guardians um you know was the way uh, maybe maybe i wouldn't be playing it uh, the maybe i wouldn't be playing the second star guardian if i was playing uh, the third screw serpent but yeah i felt like i needed the second star guardian more um, than i needed the burb like i never really needed the burb uh claws what i called um, so yeah, the rest of the extra deck is pretty standard, you know, Quarian, DG Quarian, <laughs> uh, Hama, um, Squire, Black Rose, and DG Wonder Magician is actually pretty nice. Um, so yeah, and that's basically the deck, uh, skill is flight control of course, and yeah, now it is time to do... Um, also, if you enjoy content like this, uh, be sure to subscribe because it does help you to not miss out when I'll be posting other videos like this. Um, so yeah. Uh, we're playing against Kaiba here, okay. Win streak 10. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, we're going second. We have Lance, which is amazing. We have... Monster Reborn, so we could probably OTK here. We should probably OTK here. Of, co of course, he opens the freaking alternative, and uh, of course, yeah, we won't be able to OTK here. Let's see, what are we gonna do? Okay, we can go for uh, grabbing this. Um, so yeah, we wanted uh, what we wanted to do is potentially tr is potentially trick him into going into Black Rose, basically. Because if we Black Rose, his, his effect misses the timing and, you know, we destroy his things and we then have an OTK. But he was smart, it seems, at least with it, this decision, <laughs> um, to do it early because now they're undestructible. Uh, we still uh, Monster Reborn into his dude, um, so we can, you know, put a bit of pressure, pressure on, onto him. So let's see, the, this he can banish, but we can change at least his... Um, yeah, maybe setting the lance wasn't the best thing to do, but okay. Uh, we go into Black Rose now. Okay, we can flight control, return the dude, grab the screw serpent. Um, 
we can summon the strike, we can with Serpent go for this, we can go for the Squire, we can pop his back row, which was a hollowed life barrier, and the monster. But this is what people don't know about Squire, it does not target, you cannot chain, you know, a nice hollowed life barrier. And uh, she can pop if you banish Black Rose Dragon, which is a fire and a synchro, you can pop a monster and a back row. And that's all non-targeting, you cannot respond. And now we can change the level, go for Hama and game. So as you can see, pretty nice. This is the standard combos they have, the TGs have. Um, so as you can see, TGs is a fairly simple and fairly fast deck that you can consistently hit King of Games with, you know, every month. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It's not that expensive. Uh, the extra deck can be a bit expensive, but you know, it's, compared to other decks, um, I think it's worth, yeah. Especially because you get MST in the same box. So yeah, definitely worth, I would say. So we're playing against Magnets here. He tags out early, okay. Um, he MST negates my back row. We can go into the Striker. Striker, special summon, special summon the Warwolf as well. We can go into the Star Guardian. I grab the Warwolf, special summon the, the thing to Black Rose the whole field. Why we wanted wanted to do that? Because we expected he has we expected he had a rebirth of some you know of some sort, and the field spell is kind of annoying. So you know, just want to get rid of that ASAP. And we still have we still haven't normal summoned right. Yeah, we no we normal summon the the serpent. We special summon the striker. We special summon the werewolf, and this is pretty standard. What you want to do? Want you want to have them three on three on the field: the serpent, werewolf, and the striker, because that is your basically OTK. Because first of all, we can go into a level seven squire. We can or we we don't have to pop the back row, but I wanted to show you that we can pop the back row with banishing the. Um, Banishing the black row again, we can pop his back row, and now we can screw serpent, change change the level of the striker to level one, and then we have a level eight Hama, which can attack this for game. Um, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, um, if you enjoy live content, be sure to join us on Twitch, where I stream sometimes <laughs> when I have the time, at least. But yeah. Anna Kabuba, I mean Kaboom. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, FBI, open up. <laughs> Anyways. We're going second again. Unfortunately, I don't have any replays of the freaking setup. What you want to do with, what you want to do with uh, the dudes is you want to have a quick play synchro on their turn. Which means you can, on their turn, destroy the whole field or banish the whole field of monsters and graveyard um, which you know we, you can target three cards so that's pretty insane you know um, why is that insane it's because you know <laughs> they're trying to set up they maybe have some back row you can clear the whole field the next turn OTK or if they have the whole bo board of monsters you know you can banish their whole monsters and, <laughs> and OTK next turn you know so that's pretty nice unfortunately uh, we we only had that one uh, replay where we black rose the whole field um, against blue eyes but yeah um, fortunately for him he opened the full combo basically this is the best hand that one can open with Teller Knights vegan plus the neb and two plus the neb and two back row but the thing is he, he misplayed he should have went with the the dude discard the freaking altair or search for something else not the altair it doesn't matter probably just discard altair because uh, the trevor floats from the graveyard and then yoink a card from my hand you know you know and any card if he, if he, if he yoinked was amazing and then he has a, a dude that floats and two back row to follow it up as well so yeah that was a definite misplay i would say now we can tanky grab another warwolf we can flight control grab the ser screw serpent we can normal summon screw serpent special summon drillfish special summon warwolf we can go into the wonder magician to pop his back row he can um, skybridge 
into a Deneb. Deneb can search him the vegan that he just returned. We can go into Hama, we can Monster Reborn um, into the Screw Serpent, which can revive the Drillfish because we haven't used this, the Screw Serpent uh, effect yet this turn. We can then grab back the Screw Serpent for follow up. And we can go into Catapult Dragon, which can, with Squire, this is, this is what people also don't don't realize. We can banish our own Squire if needed. Um, unfor unfortunately for him, he had another Sky Bridge, which meant he couldn't activate it as it's once per turn. Anyways, um, but even if he could, we could still pop his monster because it's non-targeting. Um, so yeah, we decide to pop. So yeah, we decide to pop with Squire and with Hama. We have Lethal because it can attack twice, and yeah, as you can see, easy clap. Okay, let's see. Uh, also, um, if you want, join us in the Discord where we, you know, we, we can help you with deck, you know, build deck building, uh, we can, you know, talk about random stuff, duelings, Master Duel related, Yu-Gi-Oh related, you know, or just memes, random stuff, you know, join us there if you want. Okay, so he, also has the full combo for the dude, but doesn't have the full combo. It takes him a card less than it would take the last player because he didn't get a search with the, the neb. Um, he still decides to go with it, and he yoinks the <coughs> fuck. The only card he couldn't yoink from us is the screw serpent, and of course he yoinks it. We're gonna set everything. Um, what is nice about this is that Trevor only floats if he has a material uh, when it's destroyed. So now if we destroy him, he does not float. Also, with Striker we can get a search for the next turn. He uses Sirius on turn 3, I, I haven't that <laughs> ever. Striker can search for our Screw Serpent, hopefully top deck a monster to OTK and no. Monster to OTK and no, of course not, we top deck the final lance. Okay, um, he finishes chains, we can do the lance. Why we wanted to do that is because we have lance which can destroy his trevor if he decides to swing into it with screw serpent and we also have the striker which can then get us a search get us another get us another search lance like i said destroy his dude he gets gives us a search okay we can go for the warwolf we top deck finally a monster which means we can have a full combo striker special summons himself when the when our field is empty and he has monsters we can grab the screw serpent special summon screw serpent special summons the warwolf he floodgates floodgates we re, we have we had the red on his back row we know it was floodgate then then that's why we went with the screw serpent because it's uh, more damage clearly. i'm not sure if it's lethal or not but it doesn't matter, he scoops anyways. There's not many cards he would have as a top deck anyways, so yeah, GG's. Okay, the last duel we have for today, let's see. I faced a lot of Teller Knights on the ladder, not gonna lie. Everyone's playing Tellers, which is kind of weird champ, but okay. Let's see, we open all of our monsters, and he's playing Tolernates as well. <coughs> you see, yeah, we opened every single, you know, the, the main monsters, boss monsters of our deck. That's that's funny. Exodia. <laughs> well, uh, so here's why Wonder Magician is nice, we can force out the back row. He finished chains to protect this back row, for some reason, okay. We can uh, Screw Serpent revive the Warwolf, he alpha negates. This is why Alpha is pretty nice because if even if you have Alpha on Altair, you still can you know destroy my monster, which ends my turn basically. Plus you can get us get a draw, and then on the turn afterwards, you fuck. On the turn afterwards, you get another draw, which means you know you have. Uh, anyways, okay. He destroys the Screw Serpent. Um, now, activate flight control, we did, and of course he protected this card with the fiendish chain. So we're assuming it's, it's a book. If it wasn't a book, we had an OTK here, but because it is, um, I decided to play it safe. Uh, we can summon, summon the booster raptor because we still have a TG monster on the field. We can attack with the warwolf. 
Yeah, we could have went with the OTK, you know, with uh, the freaking Hama. But, because we can synchro with the Wonder Magician, but because he has a book, there's no need for it. And a good thing is all of our monsters float uh, when destroyed. Uh, Wonder Magician gets gets us a draw, and our Warwolf and Booster Raptor g give us a search, and we have a full field, so he can't really um, OTK us. Um, so yeah, he can drop the Neb. We can <laughs> activate Wonder Magician, even though it's not gated. He passes the turn, which means it's. Sh and this is this is the good thing about our monsters is they won't attack because they give us a search, you know, they literally thin us, thin uh, the deck for us, so, you know, um, <laughs> there's no need for them, they, they can't really attack into our monsters, is what I'm trying to say. Now we can Squire, pop his back row, pop his monster, he wasn't expecting it, of course, but it doesn't matter if he, even if he has been, even if he was expecting it, it doesn't matter, we have easy clap. And we can play around Destiny Draw potentially. Yeah, with Hama is act lethal, so we're playing around Destiny Draw. And we have Screw Serpent as a follow up if he has a back uh, hand trap. And yeah, that's gonna be easy clap. GG's. But, anyways, that's gonna be it. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the video. Do you want to see more content like this? Do you want to see more Master Duel content? Um, is the text that you want, new decks that you would want to see? And uh, yeah, every, every feedback helps a lot so I can, you know, make more better quality content. Content. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, see you in the next one. Bye.